my dear students in today's video i am going to discuss about the forest and wildlife here you will learn about the functions of forest and the various stakeholders of forest and their role in protection of the forest so let's start with the video i am going to discuss about the functions of forest first as we all know that forests are very important renewable natural resource that are often known as biodiversity hotspots they are the areas where biodiversity of plant animal and microbes are conserved here we can see various type of fungus plant insects birds bacteria even can be seen if we study under the microscope even you can see reptiles and other animals also now any type of disturbance in this basic structure of the forest can damage the biodiversity and can create the loss of biodiversity and finally it will lead to the ecological instability so therefore we need to conserve and preserve the biodiversity that we have inherited now let's look into the functions of forest forest have three main functions economic functions protective functions and regulatory functions so let's start with the economic function first so what is economic function forest provide us food nuts wood commercial products as well as raw materials raw materials for various type of industries like matchstick industries fiber board plywood paper industry etc so forest is very important for its economic function next come protective function the forest protect the soil from erosion vegetation protects the soil from wind and water and the plant roots hold the soil firmly the forest also provide shelter to the wild animals and control the air and noise pollution next is the regulative function forest regulate the climate and rainfall by increasing the humidity forest also balance the atmospheric gases like the trees and the plants of the forest help in maintaining a balance between the atmospheric oxygen as well as carbon dioxide forest retain and absorb the water the forest hold rain water like a sponge and check sudden floods they help in recharging the ground water by slow percolation now comes the next part of the video that is the stakeholders of forest so who is known as a stakeholder a person with an interest in something is called a stakeholder so here we are talking about the stakeholder of forest so which people can be considered as the stakeholder those who want to conserve the forest so they are the local people who live in and around the forest and depend on the forest produce for living secondly the forest department of the government who owns and controls the resource of the forest thirdly the industrialists who use the forest products as raw material for their industry and finally the nature and wildlife enthusiasts who want to conserve nature in its original pristine form so these are the stakeholders of forest so first come the local people the local people they live in and around the forest and depend on the forest product like they require firewood timber bamboo they use it for making huts and baskets they use the forest product like wood to make tools and other implements for agriculture fishing and hunting they need fruits nuts and medicines their cattle graze in the forest or feed on the leaves and fodders collected from the forest now there arises one question do you think that such use of forest resource by local people lead to the exhaustion of the forest no actually not people were living in the forest for centuries they had developed practices to ensure that the resources were used in the sustainable way instead of cutting down the trees completely they chop off branches of the trees or pluck flowers so local people cannot be held responsible for causing the damage to the forests but the effect of british rule on the forest resources were immense after the britishers took control of the forest they ruthlessly overexploited the forest resources for their own interest the local people were forced to depend on much smaller areas this resulted in the reduction of the forest cover after independence the forest department adopted the same mismanaging policies of the britishers 
some of the examples are the management of forest resources was not diverted to local people basic needs of the forest dwellers like were not taken care of knowledge gained by local people for a long time for forest management was completely ignored here i want to say something about monoculture plantation the forest department converted the vast tracts of forest to monoculture of pine tree and eucalyptus to meet the need of the industries but this led to the loss of large amount of biodiversity in the area this in turn affected the needs of the local people so why did the forest department allow monoculture plantation the answer is simple monoculture plantations provide a regular source of raw materials to the industries and an important source of revenue to the forest department some of the major industries based on this forest produce are timber industry paper industry and the sports equipment industries so there are two main disadvantages of monoculture plantation that are it destroys the biodiversity of the area and secondly does not meet the need of the local people here i want to discuss one prejudice against traditional use of forest the great himalayan national park contains alpine meadows these meadows were grazed by sheep in the summer the nomadic shepherds used to take their flocks up from the valley every summer when these meadows were made a part of the reserved area within the national park the shepherds were not allowed further now the studies have shown that this led to the problem as without the grazing by sheep the grasses grew very tall and then fell over preventing further fresh growth as a matter of fact greater damage is caused to the forest by the development projects like building roads rest houses and dams so here i want to end the topic today in the next video i will discuss about the sustainable management and conservation of forest learn about the important afforestation programs like the chipko movement where people's participation played a very important role for the protection of the forest